What is up guys? Hope everything is going well. We have the next requested system test. This one is brought to us by Goldenrod 636. Also uh, Simplex 4051 on the forums. That's the fire alarm forums. Uh, that's forums.thefirepanel.com. Put the link in the description below. That's run by uh, New Age Server Alarm, which is pretty cool. You should totally check it out if you're an enthusiast. Um, so yeah, that's pretty nifty. Um, we have the Simplex 4903-9217 put to a new spot. The Space Age Electronics AV32 plus 2 DCD. Um, nothing on the ceiling. Huh. I have ceiling devices now, except I don't have any of them set up yet. So not putting any of those in the system tests yet. Uh, we have the Simplex T-Bar, whichever one, by the panel. And uh, the FCI MS6 by the window. Um, we haven't started taking uh, heat detectors yet, and I think that that's in the wrong coating. So let's find out. So we will check. It's supposed to be in steady, and it's not. So let's do that. Okay, we'll give that a second, uh, we'll get back to it. Now, uh, while that's initializing, let's go through our devices. Um, we have the heat detector, which I don't think I'm going to bother testing today because I don't have a jumper wire ready. It's conventional, it's on a mini mod, not super exciting. Um, I've got some more conventional heat detectors, but I'm really hoping to get an addressable one to put up in its place soon. Um, Following this poorly laid wire still. Um, nothing up here. But we have the Simplex uh, 4903-9217 mounted correctly for a change. Um, I was worried, I was, it was really bugging me that when I had it mounted over by the window, it was um, mounted the wrong way. It, it was really, really bothering me. Same control module, it does nothing, just looks good. Um, and the Simplex T-Bar as requested. You'll notice it's not mounted very well because the mini mod back there is kind of in the way. But that's okay. Um, down here, following the wire, we have the same SD355. We'll probably just mag test it today. I don't like smoking them out too much because it does take a long time and uh, you gotta clear out the room too. Space Age 2 DCD and whatever the other part of the model number was. Um, unfortunately, while I was trying to put this up, I dropped the light plate, which had both screws in it, so I lost a screw somewhere in the floor. Um, and I only have one screw that is long enough to get back to the J-Box on here, so it's, it's a little loose, but that's okay. Um, I, I need to go buy longer screws, to be honest with you. And we have the FCI MS6, just as it was last week. Now, I generally start over here after going through all the alarms, but... I want to change it up this time. And uh, let's start back over here with our simplex side of things. Here is the T bar, and the 9217. Oh, yeah, I have a new fancy sign. Forgot to mention that. I'm going to put it up so it looks nicer. It's still in its packaging. Got that as a, uh, as a gift. That's okay. Three, two, one. was loud and for what it's worth um, that strobe isn't working and I fear that that's related to the fact that I dropped it earlier I'll have to mess around with it I don't have too much time to like pull it down right now and see if I can get it to flash again so in the next video we will have to um, go ahead and check that out now getting all sorts of text messages from my fire panel right now um, Let's go ahead and we'll, I'll have my key ready. 
for this one. Cat's back. Let's go ahead and put it in so I can just reset it fast. say that um, this guy here first of all not only is the strobe not flashing you have to remember it's a four wire device too so you got these separate wires popping out which might be my issue is that they're probably just loose that's the hope um, but I'll certainly check it out it's no big deal uh, let's mag test that smoke detector um, remember if you're ever doing a real system test magnet testing is a no-no However, if you've got a hobby system, magnet testing makes your life easy. It's gonna scare me. I never know when it's gonna go. Gotta get it in the right spot. All righty. And that is that system. Those things are super loud and noisy. This thing's still sending me, like spamming me with text messages. I've got like so many of them coming through and there must be a bug in the program or one of these must be loose and is going in and out. So whoops. All right. You got 33 messages. Let's see who's up next week. If I remember correctly, they didn't put a name in. So guys, we don't know who it's by next week. Um, again, the forum link is down in the description below. Thank you, uh, Goldenrod66 or Simplex4051, whoever you want to be called. Thank you for your suggestions, and guys, I will see you in Wednesday's video. Thanks for watching.